discovery right here in Oklahoma could help millions of people across the country who have heart valve issues. News Force Austin Brissett tells us what local researchers have found. Our discovery is kind of an entry point for us to understand the pathways that are involved, you know, the mechanisms that are involved in uh, these human patients. Dr. Satish Srinivasan with the Oklahoma Medical Research Foundation describes our heart as a house with four rooms. Between those rooms are valves that act as doors regulating blood flow. The sad reality is old age, high fat diets, lack of exercise, smoking and even simple genetics cause problems with those valves over time. They can become bigger, much bigger than what they normally are, or they can accumulate blood and immune cells on the surface. 10% of people over 65 years old will experience issues with their heart valves, and most of them won't even show any symptoms. But Dr. Srinivasan says his study found two proteins helping valves in the lymphatic system are also key for heart valve function. If someone doesn't have one or both of them, problems can persist. So they work to see if the protein's jobs can be replicated through researching an FDA-approved drug used to inhibit a molecule found in some cancers. As we use this drug, and we were able to show that these mice where their valve defects were significantly reduced uh, by this drug. The discovery is just the beginning to a study Srinivasan says he hopes will show more promise for the future. Our goal moving forward is to understand uh, more thoroughly what other potential drugs we can use to you know, make them less severe and whether this is also relevant in human disease. Austin Brissett, Oklahoma's News 4. All right, Austin, thanks. Dr. Srinivasan says the research is still in its very early stages. They hope to find out if other already available medications can be used to help heart valve functions as well. Now.